Holy crap, that's good. I'm not a fan of this. It's a texture thing for me. What's up everybody, it's Will and Jose. And we are about to go meet our friend Nico, who is going to go <laughs> take us to try some local Filipino street food. We're excited. We've never tried Filipino food and this is our first time. Yeah, we're super excited and let's go see what we can find here. While we wait for our friend Nico to meet us here at the market, we figured we'd share with you where we've been staying and it's this cute little town named Moaboa. Yeah, this is our first time in the <laughs> town center, by the way. Yeah, it's very cute. I, we're really liking it. Um, it feels like a much smaller town. Like, mm -hmm. everybody knows each other. It's known for like its white sand beaches, mm -hmm. the snorkeling, the sardine run, like the turtles, like all of that type of stuff. So of course, who doesn't want to be there with it? Um, also, the shades are because the sun is so bright. <laughs> Um, and I have uh, light color eyes. Yeah. And light color eyes, like, you know, if you know, you know, the sun hits them differently. Allegedly. No, it's, it's a thing. <laughs> Sorry, you have boring eyes. But anyway, yeah, we really, really like it here. And people were so surprised with how long we were gonna stay here. Yeah. Because we booked our accommodation for six days. And when they heard six days, they're like, <gasps> yeah, they gasped just like that. Like, like, not even an exaggeration. They, they literally asked why we're staying that long. Like, <laughs> What do you mean, why are we saying that long? And again, I, I I can't stress it enough. The people have been so kind to us. They have. Every single place we've been, even if we're just walking down the street, like they, they're very, very, very kind. So we have not once fell out of place. Oh, I think it's Nico. You ready? That is not Nico. Oh, it is Nico. <laughs> okay, yeah, All right. that's Nico. All right, guys, enough of the blabbering. Let's show you some food and try some new things. Thanks for watching. Like, wish us luck, man. <laughs> wish us luck. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's go on, man. The legend, Nico's here. <laughs> How are you? It's okay. Lots of traffic. <laughs> Always can, in man. the Philippines. Intestine. Put the vinegar in it. Put the yeah. vinegar in this. Yes. Oh, it's like, wait, 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 wait. That makes sense. <laughs> just dip it in this. Yep, just dip it. And just eat the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. It tastes like a pork rind. Does it really? Almost, yeah. I don't mind it. No? I don't mind it at all. I'm gonna have another piece and then you can try <laughs> it. It's like, I don't mind this at all. You gotta protect your hand from all the oils. All right, so. Dipping it in the vinegar. It's not bad. It's, it's good. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. It does taste like a pork rind. Like a pork rind. It's like crunchy. But like fresh. Mm -hmm. like this. What's this, Nico? It's a hanging rice. Cebu special rice. And then how do you open it? Oh, it's just right here? Yeah, just break it. Pork or something. So yeah, it's like steamed rice and bamboo, right? Uh, coconut leaves. Co coconut leaf. Clearly, I'm not listening. Okay, so Nico, what are we trying here? Uh, that's what we call quail egg quick quick. Quail egg quick quick? Quick quick, yeah. It's quick quick. There's no egg, there's no bird in there, right? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it looks like a, a a barbecue beef ball. Mm, like a buffalo chicken ball. <laughs> a buffalo chicken ball, but it's not. No. The quail quail eggs taste like the yolk cooked. Mm-hmm. Like they have that texture. It's not spicy though. It's not spicy. No, it's not spicy. At all. It needs to be spicier. On to the next. On to the next. On to the next. The hot the food so far. Honestly, I'm I like it. It just it's one of those things like you see but you never try because you think it's gonna be some weird outlandish thing. Not at all. What are you excited to try the most? The intestine. The intestine? Yeah, because I we we've seen intestine before and it's intestine, so it like kind of freaks you out. Right, the camera eats first. There we go. All right. It 
it's a texture thing for me. Her barbecue sauce is bomb as hell, though. <laughs> well, let me try the chicken finger. Her uh, foot? Yeah. The Come claws on. of like your nails. Yeah. Looks like your toenail. <laughs> Jurassic. Jurassic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's a lot of meat in that. It tastes like everything else on the chicken. Like chicken? It tastes like chicken. Ah! Wait, wait. <laughs> so you just put the whole thing? I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. I'm gonna try this. And then it's just sausage, right? This one's good. Yay! So it's like, your, it's like, a, like a classic Oscar Mayer hot dog. Any American will eat an Oscar Mayer hot dog. So if you ever find yourself in the Philippines, get yourself these little sausages. Just to let you guys know, the market is located right here at the port. You can get anything from your fresh meats to fresh produce along with your street food. Right now they're serving us our cow skin stew. I'm very curious to what they would taste like. Skin is the one thing that I can't stomach. Like for it's, I'm a textured nut. So like if it's slimy or like, I'm like, mm, but I want to try it because it could be very, very, very good. Oh, I know that face. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are tearing up. <laughs> And it's hot. I'm not used to eating things that are like gelatinous, yeah. Would I eat it again? No. But it tastes like a noodle that's just been a little bit overcooked. The stew's good. What do you want? The uh, one with natural or the one with the milk? Um, all natural. Natural. Mm. This is actually way better than any coconut water I've had. Oh man. I'm with you. It's good, right? Do you know why I like this one? Why? It's not as thick. Like, I feel like this this is almost has a texture of water, right. where I don't know why I feel like the coconut juice we've had before has like a thicker texture to it. This is, and I think I know another reason why I like this one better. It doesn't taste very coconut. -y. It does taste like coconut, but it's not like oh, bur coconut e. That's a thing. So we got the one with milk. He talked me into it. Twenty five pesos. He didn't have to convince me. I was, I want to try it. You know what it tastes like? What? It tastes like the milk in, when you have cereal. Ooh, the it tastes like the milk. leftover it's milk, bad. but cold. Okay, I gotta get my hands on it. And this one actually has shavings in it. Just do it. I, I can't do it. Do it. Don't think about it. Just okay. It. Why, why is that? So we had a small little dinner before the grand finale, and that is Baloo. What's the process like? How does he make them? Uh, after the duck laid the egg, they count the days, and then 16 days, they get the 16 days, and 17 days, they get the 17 days, and then put it in the storage, so then they can cook it until then. And they just boil it, right? Yeah, just boil yeah. it. That's like the definition of farm to table. Farm to but table. literally, table. literally farm to table. <laughs> so, Nico, when did you have your first balo? Uh, when I was about grade school, uh, grade four. I tried balo, but I vomit all in all. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's better than I. <laughs> <laughs> he's way better. Oh. I'm gonna try the 16. It's not nearly as uh, 
Feathering. <laughs> sauce. Salt and sauce. It's better, right? There you go. You see the soup? Yes. You can peel the white one. Yeah, like that. And then make it sip soup. And then after the soup, just peel a little bit. More? Like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. And then put some vinegar. Good. Like that. We're gonna meet, eat the meat. <laughs> More meat than yours. Are you ready? <laughs> Sorry, little dude. Did I gotta do this? <laughs> Ooh, right? mm. You can have some vinegar and just like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Sips a little bit vinegar. A little bit salt again. Eat it all the way. Eat it all? Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's good. It's like a boiled egg. You literally just taste the, the yolk, to be quite honest with you. I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> okay. So it cracked down? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Right. That will do. Yeah. Sip it out. Okay. Yeah, it tastes like a good broth. Okay. Peel it up a little bit. Put some a little bit salt. Damn. That's a whole bird. Is there anything left? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can see the bird. Can you kind of see it? It's a duck. I can see it's beak. It's actually not. Oh, Glenn, stop. <laughs> Don't eat me. Okay, eat it all. Eat it all? Yes. Yeah. Just do it. I, I can't do, do it. it. Don't think about it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, I think I bit off half of its head. Do I eat that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, just have some sip. Oh, the vinegar, have some sip. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, feels more better, right? Mm hmm. That was an experience that I don't think I want to ever redo again. <laughs> Why? We're having another one? 24? No, you're kidding me. <laughs> Alright. So if we ever go on Amazing Race or something like that, or Fear Factor, we have this under our belt. Think about that. You see that Amazing Race? We're your dudes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. But, um, I can do it. It's better when it's cold. You guys are playing hot potato over there? <laughs> The poor chicken ducks inside. <laughs> it's odd because it has like a it's a duck, so it's got like a meat a meat texture to it. So I'm a little confused right now. Why I'm right. my mouth doesn't know what's going on. Okay, I can't think about this. I'm not gonna just eat it. You can have some vinegar if you. Feel it would have have to. <laughs> this one's way more potent. Oh, this one doesn't have the piece I have to miss, does it? Yeah. I eat the whole thing. Yeah, you eat the whole thing, right? Let me see. Even the yellow. Yeah. All right. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. And I'm just going to eat it. Here you go. Cheers. So this one you're eating it, <laughs> you're more aware of what you're eating. 16 days felt like I was just eating an egg yolk. Yeah. This one I was definitely eating a duck. Yeah, a whole duck. You know what? Yeah, 
but I didn't chicken out Jose. What can we say? Today has been quite the experience and we would have not been able to do it if it wasn't for Nico over here. Our man Nico, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you we Nico. appreciate it. You're welcome here in Philippines. Thank you for watching. We had the best time, thanks to Nico. Mm -hmm. And the people here is it's very, true. very, very kind and welcoming. And we had some, some foods we would never have any other time in the world if it wasn't for Nico taking us. Because we would never, never feel comfortable enough to eat it or ask or any of the above so exactly thank you thank you for watching until next time be sure to like subscribe and hit that bell notification all right guys all right. later later